as you arrive to the condominium, you, uh, you, you pull up the parking area, it pulls up to the second floor. Come on in, we're going to look at unit 203. These units are all 1,500 square feet. Uh, your entryway is through uh, um, this hall. Uh, come on down. As you come in, there's a, a fairly large size uh, utility room with a washer and dryer, and it's where we have the utility. The utility. Go ahead and turn all the lights on so we can see things while, while you're videoing that. Um, behind the other side is uh, is turn that fan back off uh, is one of the be uh, bathrooms. All these units are three bedroom, two bath. Uh, they're full bath, so we can get a good look at that. This is the uh, frontmost bedroom. Uh, this bedroom is equipped with a, a bunk. It's got a double on the bottom and a double on the top, so you can sleep quite a uh, quite a bunch of. This would be perfect for youngsters. Uh, and of course, it's got a flat screen TV with a DVD player uh, built into it. So this is bedroom number one, and this is the closest to the parking lot. Go follow me down the hallway here. The second bedroom uh, is uh, furnished with a queen-size bed, a full dresser, uh, again a flat-screen TV. Uh, so this would be perfect for a, a you know an adult couple, or you could put a couple of uh, uh, younger teenagers in here. All these floors have enough room to to put an air mattress if you need a couple of extra sleeping spaces. If you come on down the the, uh, the hallway. Uh, this is the main living area of the condo. Uh, it's a full built-in and fully furnished uh, kitchen. This has our, um, our blonde cabinetry in it. Uh, very attractive. All the, the, uh, the appliances are, are top of the line, uh, GE or, or equivalent. Uh, the living area in this particular unit uh, is furnished with some browns, murk tones. Um, as you can see, a, a picture's worth a thousand words. A large screen TV, uh, all the, the, um, uh, the uh, TV in here is uh, direct TV, so um, you can get virtually anything you want from football games to, the, you know, to movies and, and, so, and so forth. Um, the, you can see the leg uh, out of this particular um, part of the, uh, of the condo living area fairly easily. Uh, there's a deck out here that's about six feet, maybe eight feet deep, uh, and it's the width of the condo. So um, if you just look up the look up the lake, this is a view looking um, northwest uh, up Smith Lake. Uh, and if you bring the camera around, you can actually see the uh, the boat dock boat docking areas. Uh, each of these condos includes a boat slip, and if you're renting, you get the use of a boat slip for this particular unit. Uh, there's a common grilling area um, and, and so forth. Um, there's a, a secondary deck and there's a long trail uh, that people like to walk on. It's all shaded uh, running up the, the back side of this mountain. And there's some more seating area uh, over here. Uh, you'll, for young children, you'll note that the, the, the deck, I mean the, uh, the rail is all vertical so they can't climb over it um, without having to really watch if you come back to the living area, uh, the master bedroom uh, is the other half of the, air, the, of the condo that faces the, uh, faces the lake. Uh, this particular bedroom is furnished with, um, uh, is furnished with a king size bed. And again, it's earth toned, so it's very, very comfortable. Um, again, there's sliding glass doors that open up onto the terrace so that um, okay. You can go out and enjoy yourself in the morning, a cup of coffee, see what's going on in the lake, and, 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 and so forth. I'll open these, uh, these blinds here. 
give a, get a full view of the what you get out of the master bedroom. Very, very comfortable. Again, another flat screen TV. Plenty of, of uh, storage area for your clothing while you stay. Uh, there's a large closet uh, for the, uh, the master and a linen closet. I'm just going to leave these doors open uh, so you can get a quick look. There's plenty of, plenty of area here to, to store your, um, your belongings while you're, you're visiting with us. And then finally, the, uh, the master bedroom uh, bathroom. If I get out of the way, then the camera can get a good look at what we got here. Uh, large uh, rectangular or triangular tub with jets in it uh, and a full, uh, a full size uh, shower, shower stall and dual sinks uh, in, the, uh, uh, in the cabin. So um, that's it. Uh, the condos are 1,500 square feet. Uh, they're um, very heavy duty, very quiet. Everything is concrete construction. So we don't have any uh, uh, real noise issues. And we'll stop the tape here and go on out and take Hi folks, Marty Roberson again. Come on, let's, uh, let's take a look at the swimming pool at, at Waterford. Uh, get a good idea. When you come to the lake to enjoy yourself, you want to know what kind of water you've got there. Let's take a look. We've got a few. Uh, guests out here on the water today. It's midsummer in June uh, 2010, so uh, we'll have to be cognizant of them. Uh, they get nervous. As you can see, the, uh, we've got a large uh, swimming pool. I think it's 20 by 40 feet. Uh, there's a bathhouse with a uh, washroom, uh, excuse me, a uh, bathroom for uh, people to use while they're at the pool. Plenty of seating, plenty of uh, area for the, uh, uh, you know, for umbrellas and all those kind of things. Again, the lake's in the background, so this is a very, very popular area. We've got a few kids in the water here, so uh, let's uh, let's go down and take a look at that. Come on, follow me. As you can see, now we're up just below the, the pool deck. So it's that close there. lakes in the, in the country uh, and the water is absolutely sparkling uh, and folks just love to get out in it. Uh, the whole area of uh, that we're in right now, Waterford Condominium and Ryan Creek Marina, is, is, is in an idle wake zone. So all the boats that come through here have to, to slow to an idle, uh, idle uh, speed to come through here, which really makes it comfortable. All of our boat sheds, uh, uh, this first one for instance, are all aluminum covered boat, boat slips. Most of the people that own here uh, keep their boats up on a lift. That's obviously not necessary if you're just gonna be up here for a week or so. Uh, and we do have a launch. Uh, you can either have the marina launch your boat and, and store your trailer, or uh, Waterford has its own launch if you're co comfortable doing that. And then there's an oversized area for parking just on the other side of the, uh, other side of the pool area. But if you just take and pan the camera, and the camera person can just walk down through here, you see that we've got 50 boat slips. Um, so there, there's plenty of room for your own uh, boat, and uh, you, if you want to have guests or, or whatever, they're, uh, they're certainly welcome. The, uh, if you just look up the, the, just look up the lake, um, you get a good idea of, of the kind of uh, kind of conditions that you see in Waterford. And let's just get one last look at the back of the condo from this view. Mm -hmm. The sun's going to be a bit in the camera's face, so we'll just have to get it back. But as you can see,